Hello, Gemini. Welcome to your weekly tarot forecast. This is for the week of February 12th through 18th, Sunday through Saturday. Uh, for Gemini, Sun, Moon, or Rising, you might watch all three to gain more insight into the week. Uh, keep in mind, these are general readings. And they're just short little readings to get you the energy for the week. Uh, if you like the reading, hit that like button, share it with your friends. You can leave me a comment. You can hit that subscribe button or that notification bell. Uh, thank you so much for your support. Um, let's see what we have for Gemini, please. We're going to begin by pulling a supportive crystal from the Eternal Crystals Oracle deck. What do we have, please, for Gemini? For Gemini. One more time. All right, Gemini. Zincite, physical body, root chakra, support that root chakra. Um, if you don't have zincite, uh, I know I don't. Um, I don't think it's as common as some of the others. There are other crystals you can support your root chakra with. Um, one being red jasper, uh, even obsidian, anything like that will support your root chakra. Okay, uh, let's see. I'm going to pull now from the chakra oracle to get your overall theme for the week. What is the subject for the week, so to speak? What is it all about? What do we have here for Gemini? These for this week. Oh my God. Whoa. That's a lot of cards. Oh, that's four cards. Wow. Okay. Um, <laughs> wow. But you know what? They all kind of fit. They all kind of fit. We have self-mastery. And these all go with it. Inspiration. Visualization. Meditation. As you spend time in meditation... Uh, disciplining yourself, spending that time, self-mastery, the inspiration comes in. Visualize what you want to create. Wow. All right. It's all about that meditation. It's all about connecting, visualizing, being inspired, tapping into um, uh, that higher energy. And keeping that higher energy, uh, keeping a practice um, that will support you in those energies. Let's see what we have for Sunday, please, for Gemini. Uh, okay, we have the Ten of Swords. Oof. An ending of something. Something coming to an end. Um, that's okay. Uh, things can come to an end. Um, it makes way, it opens things up for the, for the new. So when there's an ending, it's making room for a new beginning. Don't resist. Don't fight it. Just accept things. Um, if something's out of your control, something's come to an end, there's nothing you can do about it. Accept it and wait for the new beginning, the new opportunity. Um, the Four of Cups on Monday. Yeah. <laughs> Don't um, spend time feeling sorry for yourself, wallowing in it, um, unaware of the new that is being offered to you. There is new opportunity coming in. Pay attention. All right. What do we have on Tuesday, please? Tuesday, the Knight of Coins. Look at that. Um, yep, move forward. Pl 
plant those seeds. This is not a very um, quick movement. It is a slow, deliberate investing of your time, your energy, your resources. Slow and deliberate investing. All right, and then we have the Two of Wands. What is it that lights you up? What is your passion? What is your desire? Make your decisions based on that heartfelt desire, that um, heart guidance. What does your heart tell you when you're in making decisions? You know um, the right way to go. Listen to that guidance. We have the emperor here. Yeah, take control of your destiny. Take control of your future, your success, your well-being, your life, um, the direction you're moving in. You are um, the author of your story. Don't let anybody else write it for you. It's yours to write. It's yours to live. Okay. What do we have for Friday, please? Friday. The Fool. Look at that. Opportunity to move forward this new adventure. I like it. <laughs> something passionate. Um, something that lights you up. Look at the light coming out from behind her. All this red, this passion. These little lights. I look at those as blessings coming down from heaven and you'll see them in all these, these cards here, <laughs> all four of these cards have that. Um, you're being blessed. It's time to move forward. So this week there is change coming in for you. There's ending a new beginning, uh, a very positive beginning. Passionate beginning. All right, what do we have for Saturday? Right? Yes, <laughs> Saturday. The Emperor, yep. Opportunity to birth a new, birth something new, to create something. The cup is being held out. The offer is there to create something, to birth something. The Empress is very um, powerful and creative, abundant. Tap into that energy. It is coming in for you, the opportunity for you to create this, whatever it is. It just keeps getting better as the week goes on here for you. Um, so yeah, the bottom of the deck is the Queen of Cups. Intuition. Follow your intuition. Let it guide you. All right, let me pull from the fairy oracle in closing. Okay, nature's signs. Be receptive to the subtle messages from nature as you go about your day. Nature talks to us continually. We need only open our hearts and minds. Pay attention to those signs coming in for you. Don't miss any opportunities. Um, be open. Be open. This is what I have for you, Gemini. Thank you for joining me. Have a blessed week.